Rugby League is a brutal game played by hard men. It's about strength, speed, and gritty determination, and pushing through the pain to victory. In the past, Rugby League games have failed to capture the essence of the sport, and now Rugby League Live 2 continues that trend. Yes, welcome to 2003. As the great Elvis Presley once said, home is where the heart is. Mm, not easy on the eyes, is it? Coming from something like 2K13 and its beautiful graphics to this is a bit jarring. However, there have been some improvements with this Rugby League Live and mainly around the controls. Yes, well let's look at attack and defence first. To attack, you pass with the left and right bumper buttons. Holding one of these buttons down plus a modifier button will send a cut pass to a wide receiver. For hit-ups, using the right thumbstick will help you fend and break tackles, while sprint is assigned to the right trigger. The A button was used for both these functions in the previous game, which was a bit awkward, so the change is welcome. Yeah, and it just feels more natural now. In defence, you have three tackle options. A standard round-the-legs tackle, a dive tackle for desperate measures, and a hard-hitting ball-and-all tackle, which can result in knock-ons or head-high tackles. It comes up with a high tackle. Sloppy tackle. Though for the most part, the defence just handles itself. In many situations, it's just easier to select the player furthest away and then let the AI do the work for you. Tackle minions away! Slater, Proctor, and he gets a face full of turf for his troubles. There's also a handy new training mode to help you get your head around this control system. Beginners will definitely want to hone their kicking skills before heading into a match. While you scramble to get a kick in on the fifth tackle, you don't want to be fumbling with the buttons. Last tackle play was a little disappointing. Agreed. And once you've sharpened your skills offline, it's time to go online, of course. And we found quite a few matches with decent connections, but there are already a few exploits that people are using. Surprises us all with a short kick. And they've managed to get to the ball. Dashes through the line. He's tackled there, but he's made good ground. This kickoff and recover method is pretty much unbeatable once perfected, and it's things like that that just ruin the sportsmanship of a match, Hex. <laughs> yes, but the game's biggest fumble is its painfully stilted gameplay. I mean, the animations are so rigid, and nothing looks remotely natural. Even the cheerleaders are terrifying. And on so many occasions, my outside backs would overrun the play, making it impossible to pass Battery. out wide. Flood on defence. And that's particularly frustrating when you have a one or two man overlap and end up throwing a forward pass because of lousy AI. I think the most interesting way to play is through the game's career mode, which is actually new to this series. It adds an extra layer of strategy. Sponsorship and bonuses affect how much money you can spend on training your team, and injuries can make matches a little tougher by having to play without your stars. Every match feels a little bit more important and you start to care a bit more about the results. Yeah, I am glad it's there, Hex, but essentially it just adds four button presses in between each match. And after a few rounds, I abandon it. It just doesn't have the depth of, say, FIFA's career modes. There is some fan service here, though. You can choose a heritage jersey for your team. And if you squint hard enough, you can make out the player likenesses. A great result. Still, I find it hard to believe that even the most die-hard of rugby league fans will get a lasting enjoyment out of this game. It is good that Australian devs are making games for Australian audiences, though. And to be fair, I mean, at least the sequel shows that they're headed in the right direction. There is potential there, but it does have a long way to go before you can consider this a solid sporting game. So I'm giving it four and a half out of ten. I'm giving it three and a half. But now it's time for some tiny power. <laughs> 